And so I walk into the bar and the bartender says, guys, why aren't we drinking yet? And that's when I knew it was time to go home. Oh, hi. Welcome back to another Timeless Tuesday, guys. God, okay? This is the show where we talk about anything and everything. Let's get straight into the intro. Guys, I'm glad that you guys can join me here today. As you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm hopping around, okay? I'm really trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how uh, I'm going to set up my whole, like, studio. I still want to figure out, and I, I really want to have, like, a professional-looking um, area for you guys, okay, for the podcast, honestly, because otherwise it's, it's just going to look a little uh, weird. I don't know, okay? And, um... We're going to lose these because of the freaking... You guys, today's episode, I'm not going to lie, is on the fritz, okay? It's uh, it's about anything that I want to talk about, frankly. I need to get something out there in the open, um, and that is that I am uh, super close to Season 3 of Timeless Tuesday. Uh, Timeless Tuesday has been one of these things where... I think I've figured out um, what exactly what I want to say to you guys, what I want to do, how I want it to actually be ran, everything like that. And Timeless Tuesday um, Season 3, I believe, will be run hopefully the most smoothly and also the most enjoyable season that you guys, have gonna, you guys are going to see so far. Uh, I know that's a little optimistic right, optimistic right now. However, you know, I think I'm ready. You know, I'm ready for a new season for the – <laughs> for because I know what I'm doing, um, and and the the struggle with this right now is I don't even know you know how how long you guys have been tuning in and how you got how long you guys have been listening to Timeless Tuesday, but um, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be doing something a, a little bit different. We're gonna have somebody else be in here um, constantly as a co-host, and we're also um, hopefully gonna have an area set up and. Um, and the topics are going to be uh, set to one thing, uh, one category. So our actually the whole podcast, I believe, is going to be turning into something um, that's just one like major topic, and then and then there's like subtopics of all the different different stuff to talk about. Now I say all this now. Um, and stuff could change, but I, I just kind of think that this is the way to go. I think that moving forward, I need something, um, substantial for the podcast because I really want to keep this separate from my actual YouTube videos and everything like that. Because right now it's just like, you know, they're, they're, they're not the same, but they are the same. Um, like some of the, like the last podcast I did was, um, the 22 best things that like, you know, make a, or better people okay that's what it was um and so like that could have been made into a regular video instead of a podcast and I think like the the fact that I needed to in my mind I know that I need a podcast out on the Tuesday then you know it overwhelms me with like well I just got to pick anything that comes in a path um and you know it, that's my own destruction so to say but I'm ready and I think you guys are going to be ready too. I think we all need something different. But what I want from you guys on this on this podcast, I need you guys to do um, one thing for me, okay? I just need you to go down there, drop a comment on what you think that like I should really talk about. And I mean like really talk about because that's what's going to happen in season three. Um, just come up with something that has... Um, that has grit, you know, like something that's going to be substantial enough to last a whole season. Um, but also has like sub genres in that, in that topic. You know, I think we're going to just make timeless Tuesday one thing. And I want that one thing to be, um, important to you guys. So you guys can actually, um, so you guys enjoy it, you know? So whether it's comedy, whether it's, um, you know, please narrow comedy down, but whether it's that or if it's serious or if it's like, you know, anything, just anything, drop it down below and let me know what you guys think, what you guys think the podcast should be, 
um, about. You know, originally I made this timeless because I wanted to preserve the times that we lived in. I haven't really done that because it turned into something um, a little more um, fun and with my friends. And I think that's totally fine. But for right now, um, I moved out to Fargo, so I don't have those same friends that I did. Um, which is not bad to say. It's just that I need to branch out. I need to come up with something that's going to be stable for the podcast. And then um, also my videos. And I think you guys will enjoy the videos more once the podcast has a staple. Does that make sense? I don't know. Do you guys even care? I think you do. I just think you guys need to comment down below on what I really need to do. Um, and that way we can help each other out and smooth sailing from there, boys. Okay? Okay. Um, the Timeless Tuesday, this thing has been important to me because I really think that it, it's actually created a um, a schedule for me. You know, I think it's really showed me that I can reach out there and try to do it every single Tuesday. Have I missed some? Yeah, I have some. I miss some. Uh, but that's not important. <laughs> What's important is the days that I haven't missed and what, like, how many days I actually have missed. And I think I've only missed, um, I want to say five out of season one and two, five whole Tuesdays. Um, and I think that's it. And the last one that just happened, that was a freak thing because of the internet here was making it really hard to upload. And so I was on scheduled on time for Tuesday, but then it just kind of went to crap. So there's that. Um, I think my Timeless Tuesday is going to be a little more rated up. Not R rated, but, you know, PG-13 probably. Um, it's going to be a little more of a uh, little less editing for me. You know, I think it's going to be a little more of a, I think I think we're going to allow to swear in it and um, different things like that. It's going to be a whole new contract is basically what I'm saying. And uh, I'm excited, though. I think you guys should be, too. Just please comment down below something. Leave a like and then comment down below on what you really think that I should talk about because that would be really fun, and I want to hear from you guys. You guys are important. I mean, every single time that I make a video, I think about what you want to see. Um, and it's a little unhealthy for me sometimes, but for the most part, like I want to know what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see. And... Um, just give me that feedback down below. It, it really helps me out, and it might help you guys to see what you guys really want to see. So, and I'm always ready for something new. And that's one thing that I really do like is change. Um, not a lot of people do, but I do like to change things up. I like to like move my room around. I like to, um, obviously, you can see that I'm inconsistent with this stuff. Uh, it's just all of, whoa. It's all about change, though, you know. And uh, I just really want to change this whole thing up. So I appreciate you guys listening. And uh, that's a whole thing about the podcast too, is that the they want to, I want them to be interesting while um, also putting my own personality into it. This is honestly a podcast just for me to talk about and, um, and have you guys aware of what's going through my head. So, yeah. I mean, really, it's, you know, we're at nine minutes sitting here and, uh, I've kind of gotten my point across. I think I think this Timeless Tuesday, we're going to jump into just a little bit, um, but that's what I wanted to say to you guys. So thank you. And uh, moving on to this week's podcast is going to be um, just really quick, probably 10-minute um, segment here of Mike Posner. So now Mike Posner, this guy, um, if you don't know him, he is a artist, okay, and he started – probably back in the 2000, 2010, something like that. And he made a song, Cooler Than Me, and I think that's what really popped him off. If I could write you a song to make you fall in love. Now he has like a bunch of different other stories that, you know, that's probably made him who he is today. However, um, he made that song, and he's kind of like a one-hit wonder sort of deal. Then he made an album, and like he just got lost in this whole world of like being in drugs and um, money and girls and, you know, whatever. And then he made um, a song called I Took a Pill in Ibiza. Took a pill in Ibiza to show a I was cool. And you guys have probably heard that song. And that song for him was a, like uh, an awakening of like telling everybody 
that like this is what he's been doing and like his friend Avicii died um and so for that like for that reason you know Mike actually wrote this song from what I believe and what the re- what research I've done he wrote this song to be um like he, he wrote the song to think that his fans would not like it or like people would not like it they wouldn't listen to it and it took off like it was one of the trending charts you know he was kind of like a one hit wonder again um and then you know then he had some troubles he figured out who he kind of was he went back home and you know he got this call that his dad had cancer i believed and um he made a whole album actually it's called a very good kid i believe and and on this album there's different songs of all kinds like you know there's some dates in there like january 12th of something and it's about his dad and how you know how he was younger and then also how mike was younger and then also a song called Move On, which popped off. I don't want to, but I have to. Um, that was one of the major songs, too. Um, and that song was about him moving on from the whole industry of, like, music and girls, money, drugs, like, whatever. And to um, knowing that his dad died, his friend Avicii died, and he, like, took that loss and he made it into a gain of understanding what he truly wants to do. And so with all of this being said, um, he actually decided to walk across America. I believe he's walking from either Rhode Island or something like that all the way to California. God, I should really look. Um, Either way, he's going to walk across America, and he's already doing it. He's like 15,000 miles in, I believe. Um, or 1,500 miles in, and uh, recently, actually, he just got bit by a rattlesnake, and so he had to go into the hospital, and what he talks about in there, um, he did a couple live Instagrams, or not live, but Instagram TV stories about the rattlesnake thing, and he was just walking across, and, you know, then, like, some guy, like, checked on him saying, I think he was in Colorado, some, or someplace like that, and, um, anyways, long story short, he got bit and then he, uh, decided to go, um, well, he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay. It was a rattlesnake. He's walking across his camper. Um, and it just rattled and bit him and he knew right away. And so then he went to the hospital and he couldn't walk for a while and then he gained therapy back. And then he felt like what he was talking about in, in his Instagram TV stories is that he felt sorry for himself. And so he, like, used that to his advantage um, in a bad way. So, like, he was immobilized for a little bit. And then he used that as, like, you know, like, I'm slow. Like, I haven't got a lot of treatment lately because he's been walking across America. And so he evolved, basically. And and, in, in all of his things that he posts on Instagram and stuff, if you don't follow him, you should. I'll leave his Instagram down below. Um, but his journey and how everything happens, very inspirational. And he like, and he talks to you about how he like felt sorry for himself, but then he picked himself up and and decided to continue on. And that's actually one of the hardest things to do. And, um, and so, yeah, that's Mike Posner basically. I mean, and he made a lot of music in his days. I mean, he was in a band with man, like called mansions and, um, it was with black bear. He produced and wrote and sang a lot of those songs as well as Black Bear, Black Bear did too. And so honestly for him, like finding out this journey was like really cool. But I just thought I'd share that because I kind of knew about it and I've been researching Mike Posner for a while now. So I figured maybe you guys, uh, if you didn't know him, boom, little story there. And he's also he's got a lot of like cool stuff on his Instagram that you can check out. So I'll leave that down below. Just to go back now. Um, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys kind of want to see from Timeless Tuesday. Like, what would be something that you'd really enjoy seeing, you know, or hearing for that matter? Um, and in that case, please leave a like on this Timeless Tuesday. Drop a comment, please, and share with your mother, your grandmother, your daughter, and your sister. If you don't have a daughter, you know what to do. As always, guys, subscribe if you're new. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, that's right. I beat box on the side. All right. Cameron, you're the new guy. You did good. Shut everything off and uh, let me know how it goes. And um, I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay? So, yeah. No, I film these the day of and then upload them. Cam Cameron, don't judge me, bro. All right? It's fine. Uh, I'll just see you next Tuesday. All right? Sound good? All right, cool. Something me, I can show you my world. We can go through it.